After some thrilling action from the spring tournament, our athletes are ready for the slalom event. Marbles are grouped into four groups of four, with each of them getting two runs down the track. The country with the most points after two runs moves on to the finals, and keep in mind that any marbles that fail to complete the course will cost a point for their team. Here are the parents for this event. We're expecting some close matches as many of our athletes spent hours of training on this exact track. Our first group is ready to go with Hanui and Koshitse, one of the many marbles in this group. And we're off. Down those first set of pegs. Koshise gets a good lead down the second set. Still pretty tight against all four marbles. And Singapore takes the lead down the zigzag. And Hanui steals the lead last minute from Koshise. Man, that was a very intense race to start off our competition. Hanui leads the group with four points with Koshise in second. Let's see how they do in the second round. We're off down those first set of pegs. Birmingham has a solid lead down to the second area. What's this? Koshise steals the lead right down that zigzag and has a solid lead against Birmingham. Man, oh man, the comebacks are real in this one. And our first place team currently gets stuck and that's not going to be good for them. They drop from first to last with only three points now. We now got Group B up and ready to go. Let's see who will join Koshise in the next round. Ooh, Manila gets stuck leaving only three marbles left. Los Angeles gets a lead but St. Petersburg takes it down the second set of pegs. Marcy and Angelus are right behind him, and he keeps it, and right behind him, Marcy and Angelus have a photo finish, but it looks like Los Angeles took this one by just a mere millisecond. Let's see if Petersburg can keep his throne to the second round. And we're now off. It's a tight one down those first set of pegs. St. Petersburg gets the lead into the second set, and Marcy gets stuck on the last row. And it looks like St. Petersburg will once again take this win, with Los Angeles coming in at second, and Manila in third. Not only did St. Petersburg advance, but they also now have the fastest time with just under 10 seconds. Group C is now up as we are halfway through the first round. Let's see who takes the third spot. We're off down those first set of pegs. Penang has an easy lead down the second pegs. He clears the bumper, keeps the lead down to that zigzag. It cuts a peg, getting a close second right behind him. Surabaya comes in at third while Cork gets stuck further up the track, and that'll cost him one point. Penang currently leads the pack with a record-breaking time of 9.43. Let's see who will take it in the second round. They're off down those first set of pegs. It's a tight one at the moment, and Cork leads to the second set. Ekatepec now with the lead, but Penang takes the shortcut and takes the lead to the zigzag, and Ekatepec ends up beating Penang along with Surabaya. And after that round, Ekatepec moves to first with a total of 7 points, beating out Penang. Now our final group is up with Melbourne and Milan, one of the amazing marbles you'll see. And they're off down the first set of pegs. Milan leads the pack approaching the second set. And Kolkata takes the lead exiting the pegs. But Melbourne cuts him off in the zigzag and steals the lead from Kolkata with Milan coming in in third. And Melbourne's hard work awards him first place with a total of 4 points. Let's see if he can keep his lead to the second round. Kolkata and Melbourne currently lead the pack. And Melbourne gets a slight lead, but Kolkata gets back. And Kolkata gets the lead down that zigzag. And Melbourne ends up crossing the finish first with Kolkata in second and Milan placing in at third. And Yokohama comes in with a negative score after stalling twice in that round. And now our four finalists are battling it out. Let's see who takes those medals. They're off. It's tight down those first set of pegs. Ikatipe gets the slight lead. Melbourne gets the shortcut. And Koshitse beats out Melbourne, too tight leading up to those zigzags, who's going to take it? It's Melbourne with Ikatepe coming in at second and Koshitse at third. And folks, it looks like Koshitse and St. Petersburg are tied for third, so they'll be duking it out one last time as a tiebreaker. Let's see who takes it. They're off down the first set of pegs, St. Petersburg has a slight lead. St. Petersburg still keeps it down the second set. Down the zigzag. Oh, and Koshitse just passes him at the last minute. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what you call a true comeback. And that will award Koshitse with the bronze medal. And now the final results. Team Switzerland comes in first with a total of 12 points. Team Mexico comes in at second. And Team Slovakia finishes with bronze. We got some bonus points to award to the fastest marbles. Team Finland gets 8 bonus points for beating the Winter Games record, along with Russia, who also beat the record, getting 7 points. Team Britain concludes the bonus run, receiving 1 bonus point. Now to the overall standings. Canada keeps the lead, breaking the 90-point mark, with Team Switzerland taking the runner-up. 
Team America drops to 8th, totaling 71 points, and South Korea stays in last with only 44 points. Japan loses points for the second time in this Winter Games. Congratulations to Adidas Schrungerpure for taking their second gold medal, on the edge for taking silver, and Shilpa for winning bronze. Be sure to follow our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages for sneak peeks and behind the scenes. Be sure to like if you enjoyed, and better yet, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're the first to see new Marble and Hot Wheels races. I'm your host, Alex B, signing off.